Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake. Last episode we basically finished the game. We conquered the darkness and sacrificed ourselves to save Alice. Uh, and the game pretty much ends there. Uh, Alan is swallowed up by the darkness and he's still alive. He's somehow replaced in the real world by uh, someone who looks exactly like him except he's got a creepy smile. And uh, Thomas Zane referred to him as Mr. Scratch. Don't know what that's about. Uh, maybe uh, it'll be explained in the DLC episodes, which we are actually going to start. Uh, so we'll do normal. The it looks like there's two. So yeah, uh, the signal and the writer. Okay. Previously on Alan Wake. Start off. Something I only know is the dark presence held my wife captive and used her to write a horror story I'll that came it. true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan? I saved Alice and wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place. A strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Welcome to the Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. I can't believe it. I've got I had a disturbing books. feeling of deja vu. From the bookstore. I had no idea window. why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. This is a dream. Yeah, you can actually read the thing. Are you staying long, Mr. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Wait, oh, she's even see-through. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? So is the, the sheriff. If you want. I get off work at six. Really? By the way, that whole thing about not being able to read stuff in your dreams, um, I've been able to read stuff in my dreams. I don't know if you guys have. Um, I guess maybe it depends on what side of your brain is being accessed at the time. I have no Do idea. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Again? You disgust me. Call yourself a so rocker. Rich. Unbelievable. <laughs> You put <laughs> up just because we're brothers. That. Don't Get think stuck. I won't yeah. murder you, you in your sleep. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yes, that's my favorite tune. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Yep. This is it. I'm dying and gone to hell. So There's a lady of the lake, Cynthia Weaver, right there. All right. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. So let's see where this takes us. I'm able to go in this time. Is 
there's something on there. Okay. Alan, listen to me. Go no deeper. What? Focus. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can, but it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. Of course I do. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. You don't happen to have a gun, do you? Hey, hey! This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Okay. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. You understand Zane's message. And knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. So I'm a little confused as to what exactly is going on, because based on like the power of the lake, whatever is written um, comes to light, basically. It gives the story power, like, um, you know, if you're drawing something, it gives it power, it comes to life. But if Alan's in the dark place right now, why is he imagining this stuff. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Ooh, 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 wee. Can, I, can I leave? I cannot leave. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm dead, I'm, yeah. That was, was that? too much. Day has become night. The diner had become deserted. Then the door was smashed off his hinges and Wake had to fight for his life. So can I not go this way then? I cannot. Alright. Anything in here I could take? Nope. Zane! Wait for me! The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here.
I'm officially out of bullets. I mean, I have one left, but you know what I mean. following me up here. Um, okay. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically. The rounds of the slippery stone was thrown away from, from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio I had to go on. She was startled by the phone. Ah, oh, product the placements. The GPS system was working. I hadn't expected that. Hello? Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. It made no sense for the GPS system to work. I doubted any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Okay, any chance there are bullets? Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. Triple D's. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. He cracked bone and crushed muscle. It oozed hate. It wanted to bury him. Okay. Can I go back in the diner? That's a... That is a lot of cars. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I mean... I don't know how you expected me to hide from that. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. How am I supposed to? <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't realize that was water and that I would drown immediately. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him.
I'm gonna have to take this a little bit at a time. I'm guessing it, it, it gave me the bullets so I can, like, shoot the, the cars with them. But it makes more sense to just save them, you know? So let's go through here, I guess. Tools. Oh. Oh, baby. Uh, I can't help but notice that uh, the batteries are no longer Energizer. I guess they didn't want to continue on. Um, <laughs> probably, my guess is Energizer didn't want to continue with this game because the batteries would drain so quickly. And they're like, uh, we don't want to give people the wrong idea that batteries die out after, after five minutes of use. So that's my guess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, can I, can I fucking move, please? A again, the dodge mechanic. It would not let me dodge. And of course, I'm surrounded again. So I'm gonna use this. Actually, I'll use. Do I wanna use a flare? No. I'll use the gun. At least this way. I don't know why the DLC are always so much harder than the main game. Cause it's like again, I have barely Everything any I bullets. Saw was familiar. And yet it wasn't. Hello. I cannot keep up. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I'm trying! You must face yourself. Follow me. The ships were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. Oh, it just shifted. Everything just shifted back there. Okay. Wait, now tell me this way? Do I need to go in the, do I need to go in the house? Wait, it was pointing behind me a minute ago. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Flash and flare. And flare again. And keep holding it down as, as for as long as you can turn. 
Wow. Oh my god, it refilled my bullets all the way. Okay, I take it back. Flashbang, my baby. Sarah Breaker, Bright Falls Finest, the red hot cop chick with the lightning fast boomstick. That's funny. Her debut book, The Only Girl in the Book House, delves deep into the double life of having a successful law enforcement career while being involved in a secret society. How does Daddy's old trooper fit into an old fashioned fraternity? How oh, indeed. They always gotta have like that. Yeah. Like head tilted up. Um, yeah, I can go through that. Okay. that flashbang but it was my only one more tools I will not say no Woo. love how they just fall from the sky oh yeah I forgot I had a shotgun This is really cool, by the way. I I, I'm, I know I haven't been saying much, but this scenario is really cool. Okay, I thought I was supposed to go in that way. Am I going through? No. So this is not the right way either. Am I supposed to go back? No. I'm 
So it's showing me here. I was right. I was supposed to jump. It's bad, bad platforming. Something there. Right, I saw you. I saw you, son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. I can't dodge. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I don't know why the DLC is always so tough in every fucking game that I've played. I guess it's supposed to be like you already know how to play the game, so it's like extra hard mode. But it's... It just makes it more frustrating. Like, give me a better version of challenge. Don't just be like, oh, less... Less ammo and more enemies. That, that's not... That's, that's a fake challenge. Maybe give me different types of enemies. How about that? Instead of throwing shit, maybe they have guns now. Like, I don't know. I don't see Barry. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. You know what? Even in the main game, I thought that was a door. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I was going to say the dark is very, very, very oppressive here, but we're in the fucking darkness. It makes sense. Oh god, please don't come to life. So it looks like I'm supposed to go in the church again. I did. Oh, man. <laughs> 
What did I just say? That's so funny, the key was weighing it down. I got the door open. Run for it. Okay. Thanks, I guess. I'll take the tools. I wanted to see where they fell from. Revolver, revolver, and then batteries. Hit me.
See, this area looks really cool. It's actually incredibly annoying. Because, like, you have to use this mechanic. Wow, I didn't hear that until I got right next to it. Does that say Tremor? Scream. Bestseller. Okay. I'll take friend. Yowza! Barry! Hey, bestseller! Looking good! A friend in you, special one. You, Find a, someone to help you. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination. Just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. Okay. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS... The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. Thanks. So, anywho, I'm here to help you. The thing is, you need to get a grip, alright? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ah, babe, relax. It's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages. He's like the expert. Anyway, if this is insane and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. Oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter, Al. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. Can't lie to yourself, know what I'm saying? I must be a sucker for punishment. You? No, really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble. Thanks. Thanks for that. That was a scream. What? What's going on? Okay. What was that? Okay, what did that do? He sent a page to help me, but none of them literally did anything. Except maybe Al. Or, uh, Barry, sorry. Flashlight, thanks. Ooh, the big one, yes. Yes, please. Yeah, so what brand are these now? Can't even tell. There we go. Power... Power Pack? Bright Volts? Bright Volts. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Yeah! That'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world. Or maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. That's trippy. Yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Barry. Dude, we're bonding. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty funny. Hmm. 
Boom. Ooh, mama! Hey, how? I guess the pen is mightier than... If you complete that sentence, you're fired. Mightier than the sword? You're fired. Aww. <laughs> Is it? I guess. Yeah, baby. See, this kind of mechanic I like. Can you imagine if there was like a game mechanic where it's like, in order to fight, you need to like write out uh, words in the real world, uh, kind of thing, and it's like ladder, and then you throw a ladder at something, and just once it hits something, it's like poof, it turns into a ladder, or like gun, or bullets, or something. You write the word bullets, and then throw it at someone. I mean, you might as well just have a gun at that point, but I don't know, different mechanic. You know what I mean? I'm trying to dodge, I'm trying to dodge. Really?
want that. Us? No, I definitely don't want to do that. Oh. oh. That takes like two seconds though, right? Oh, fuck. Where did I see the turret? Oh. Wrong way. Looking to see if there's anything like tools. You know, you're gonna have to make your way across here. Thinking the solution probably has something to do with those words. What hit me? Really? You think? Is it the word? Yeah, you should probably use that. Your insight is stabbed. Oh, I know. I'm not saying anything you haven't come up with first. Big Mint, remember? This kind of thing could drive a man insane. No! This is great! And it's probably therapeutic for you, too! Cynthia Weaver, the Lady of the Light. A cloud of gloom in the well-lit well room. Weaver's difficult and uncompromising life is illuminated in Cynthia Weaver carrying the torch. An enlightening and occasionally harrowing biography by Ellen Adams was an intern at the Bright Falls record under Weaver's editorship. Cool. I like how they're giving little snippets of all the characters. Can't wait to read about the, the Anderson twins. And the revolvers fell down there, didn't they? It's okay. Wake's own words, littering the landscape. His books common and discarded, like mud beneath his feet. Hardbacks, paperbacks, turned against him. Trash. Just cheap trash. I had seen weird transmissions of myself before, but not like this. The version of myself I saw now sounded insane. Like a demented storyteller who was out to torment and destroy his own past. There's a different way inside. Oh well. Uh, sudden stop? That'd be pretty funny. I want to see where they're coming from. Literally out of the air. I saw one materialize. So that's where I need. Oh my god. Can I not turn off my flashlight? Like, seriously? Hang on. I thought for sure there would be like an alarm clock here or something. I bet you at one point there's going to be um, a word alarm clock. Oh, your books. Okay, 
this is going to be interesting. Flare. I'll take the flare. Ow, come on. You gotta be careful. It's some bad words. <laughs> bad words. You have to be careful, because I, I, I need to look up a little bit to see where I'm going. Oh, my God. Okay, I see where I need to go. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. You guys scared? Assholes. Look at that. I made it through all that without, uh, you know, bringing to life one, one of the words. Fucking good, aren't I? train of thought any further that's literally the developers telling the players don't think about it too hard just just fucking do it so I don't get it is it mr. scratch Heal a little bit at least, please. I guess I just need to wait. It's not even healing me. I just need to run. Maybe it is healing me, I don't know.
Tor Anderson. The God of Thunder, the boozing geezer with the anger and the hammer. Come one, come all, face the age of murderous storm. Discovered by Barry Wheeler. Really? This fresh new voice from a bygone era suggests new and innovative solutions to old problems. Don't you dare leave your bookstore without the best-selling self-help book, You're All Nails to Me. Forward by Barry Wheeler. You are all but nails to me. Wheels. Is it like a car? A box. We need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward! If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one understands you. Mouth. But I'm talking... Mary. Oh my god, no. Does that say a rifle? No. Does that say in the distance? Wheels. Just get in the car and drive. We need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward. If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one Shut understands you. But I'm talking... Mary. Bitch.
almost missed that one. Miss me, bitch. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, from in there, okay. Okay. Keep saying okay a lot. Hunting rifle. Um, I have 19. How many other rifles? So, five. I'll stick to the shotgun. I thought this was my side of the bed. Well, well worth a memory. So that's where I need to go. You can tell because of the fucking TV. Anything up here? Fall in the water. He entered the trap, surrounded by enemies. We get nowhere to run. Damn it! I'm so sick of you. I don't think these guys can climb. There's a heavier, there's a heavy duty lantern. Can I, can I switch please? I don't think, I think this is the first time we've seen this. Um. Oh, that's never a good 
that sound, is it? No. No, it isn't. Could be a motorbike. Oops. I didn't do do that. Why can't we pick up the chainsaw? It's kind of bullshit. I hear it ticking. What does that make? The fourth one we've picked up? Calm down, fellas. The problem is they corner you. Like, it's every single time they do what they can. And I, I get it's meant to. But if the dodge mechanic sucks, and there's literally a 50 50 chance it's going to work, then what's the fucking point? You're just going to keep dying over and over. And. <sighs> you, 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 you know what I mean? That's what pisses me off about this game. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. Place is setting off my allergies. You're not gonna be there. Well, my allergies are definitely here. Pussy! See? Allergies. Of course there's a guy behind me, because why wouldn't there be? Seriously. Yes, I was supposed to do all this and get it blown up myself. Whatever. We made it through. It's the important thing.
<laughs> Stop it! They're waiting for us downstairs. We don't have time for... Alan! I knew she wasn't really here, but she still made my heart ache. I had saved Alice, but I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? Longer? I had no way of knowing. How do you know you did save Alice? Okay. Are those birds I hear? Alice Wake. Hmm. The nyctophobic beauty with the muse horrific booty. Yeah, that was that was bad. The soothing oasis in a seething crisis. The renowned and award-winning photographer's new coffee table book features intensely personal and intimate images from a life haunted by a husband who was never there. Writer's Muse. Writer's Muse. Pre-orders accepted now. That's a flat tire if I ever saw one. Whoa, that's fast. I guess you gotta run out. Oh, I see. I gotta push this. I see. I got it. Dangerous never stopped me before. going. Hey, lover. Come here. I've got something for you. I could only hope that Alice was alright. I didn't know what happened to her after she left the dark place. Like, I get the, the darkness is like shifting everything all around us. I, I get it. Oh, what the fuck? But... Zane? Is that you? Could be Alice. She is a photographer. Hey! Alice, I was that right. Pose. That was a good one. Like this? Yeah, but smile a little more. No, that's too much. You want to look mysterious. Maybe a little tough. You know how people go for those dangerous bad boys. But I'm not dangerous. Oh, come on. You write about terrible things all the time. People want to think that you're intimately familiar with them. You kill Casey in this book. You need to look a little bit like a murderer. Oh, that's good. Do that again. Is that true? Look handsome. And dangerous. You know, I wasn't sure about the beard before, but I was wrong. It looks good on you. Okay, uh I think we're done. Great. I want to get out of this suit. Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> Guess danger is sexy. <laughs> I like how uh... I was still working when I felt like a real writer instead of a fraud. It was a good memory. I wished I hadn't seen it. I like how the the Alan that was like all white, he was kind of shifting in and out of color. That was pretty good. 
hair clock. Is it in the other room, maybe? I feel like it's got to be here somewhere. Maybe it is downstairs. Maybe in the bathroom? Nope. Oh, it's here somewhere. There it is. jump down I guess Seriously, where the fuck did you come from? Everything he saw was a twisted memory, a strange thought. Even this evil he faced came from within. He knew he could just let go, succumb to it. What did he have 
have left to fight for. He'd lost everything in the when he came here. He was sad that he was gone. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, fucking... You're gonna make me do it all over again, aren't you? Yeah, you are. What the f- <sighs> Like, this is ridiculous. This- Whoever designed this area is out of their fucking mind. thought of that section fuck you it's not even challenging it's just fucking annoying a little shit is more. Okay.
Uh, I'm going to mute this song, by the way, because, again, I don't want to get copyrighted. Copyright struck. Yeah, yeah, skip. Follow the signal to its conclusion. Friend indeed. Okay. Okay. I keep saying okay. That um, was interesting. Um, I kind of saw what they were going for. It's basically Alan's trapped in his own nightmare in the darkness and is trying to uh, find his way through. What I'm curious uh, is if Alan's like actually asleep, like that that's what it seems like. You know, Thomas Zane is saying like, this is how you're acting in real life. Where are we physically? Like, are we actually trapped in the darkness, but like in our own mind? Because like the the way I can, it's kind of like being in hell, but like you're not physically experiencing the the effects of hell. You're like asleep in hell. You're having a nightmare while you're in hell. That that's how I'm picturing it. Um, and Thomas Zane is again trying to guide us through um, why you'd have to be asleep as opposed to just be awake and um, experience this like yourself I, I don't know could be part of the story I, I don't know like it could be part of the the thing about the darkness um, I'm interested to see where it's going to go from here with uh, the last one um, what is it called the the writer So we did learn, well, we didn't learn, but we realized that Mr. Scratch, actually, I don't know if Mr. Scratch had anything to do with this. We, we still don't know. Yeah, like again, it's, it's brought up more questions, which I'm hoping that they'll address in the, the final episode. But we'll see, that's, uh, that's an encounter an adventure for another time. In the meanwhile, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.